I know, it looks like a bass. Yeah, a big bass. Look at it. It's not a bad sized bass. That's nice, uh, nice bass, man. Nice marsh bass. Look at this yeah, largemouth bass they got in the net. It's nice, eh? Now, you can't keep bass that you catch in your cast net, so we're going to let this bass go. Get a bunch of bait for that. Pick it up. A bunch of pinfish there. Yeah, little ones. Yeah. This is about the size of the pinfish that he's catching. Wow, there is so much bait here. When I put this light on the water, they start to freak out. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that with the camera. There's a lot of finger mullet. I was hoping it would be shrimp, but we haven't there's no shrimp here. Not that we've caught yet anyway. It's mostly finger mullet and pinfish and shad you know like menhaden all right i'm gonna drop shot a piece of night crawler for a little bit oh there's a big snake here oh no that's an alligator a little tiny alligator over here in the dark it looked like a snake it's not very big Yeah, he's not big at all. Uh -uh. He don't like this light. <laughs> well, I finally caught a perch here. You got one? Yeah, a little, well, little tiny thing. <laughs> we might go to another spot. We're just trying to have a little fun catching bait right now. Trying to see if shrimp comes up in here still. Not tonight though, there's no shrimp up in here. But there are, there is a lot of bait. We're gonna go fish for cats somewhere around here, just not this spot. Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. I'm in Delacro, Louisiana, the morning of the 5th of July. I'm with my friend Craig, we're on the Delacro Island Fishing Pier for obvious reasons. A thunderstorm is coming through and we wanted to fish for cats and perch and we don't want this rain to stop us so look we got a roof over our heads water is uh, moving the tide is going out there's needlefish down there and other things so we do have some bait and we we have stuff for catching perch and bluegill and stuff like that little jigs and night crawlers but we caught some bait earlier got some uh, finger mullet and other things so let's put out some big lines and let's put out some little lines and let's see what we can do here before we get totally rained out all right the first line i'm putting out the main line is 80 pound braid and we got a three ounce lead on a trolley and we've got like a op two octopus hook with a little piece of a uh, finger mullet i'm just gonna chunk this out here all right here's the second one we're gonna put out a whole pinfish on an ot4 kale that is on a steel leader and we're using a trolley on this one as well on the 80 pound braid main line and we're using three ounces of lead like the first rig this canal is known for uh, alligator gar blue cats and other things There's some pretty big needlefish hanging out underneath this pier tonight. Yeah. I don't know if he's still there. Something just took a little bit of line. Something did, yeah. Yeah, we got something. Yeah. What do we got here? All right, it's a gaff top. Look at that. Not bad. That's a good size gaff top. We're going to let this go. 
corner of the mouth. Easy. <laughs> I thought for a second, I thought he swallowed it. That is nice. All right. All right. There we go. I hate this slime that's on these fish. Ugh. All right, once again, we're gonna do the same thing. A little piece of finger mullet on there. Still an ought to octopus. And I'm not casting out too far. I'm just like kind of the middle of the canal or whatever. All right. I don't really want to drive anywhere right now because the weather's bad. So we're going to try and catch one of these needlefish that's hanging out underneath this pier with this little jig here. Put a little piece of a shad on here. I think my phone is vibrating, giving me a weather alert. Maybe there's a tornado coming. storm is really ripping through here now i don't know if we're going to catch another fish we might just hang out for a few minutes to see if it blows over i'm not sure if it would be smart to leave now and drive through the worst of it whereas we're <coughs> we're out of it right now under this cover but if you stand close the wind is blowing the rain in so might have to leave we might not just wait and see i'm being stubborn he just said he's ready to go to get out of the raid. Well, if you came on this side of the picnic table, you'd be out of the raid. Yeah, I guess right. I'm pulling one of these lines in to check it. It feels like I'm hauling in a sack of potatoes. I'll show you what it is. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. This is one of the things I don't like about fishing some of these canals. When the tide's really moving, you catch a lot of this on your line. It's kind of nice up under here, so I want to make sure I don't make a mess. Whoa, we got something big this time. <laughs> big old moth of grass. <laughs> All right, I've baited it back up and <clears throat> here's my advice on trying to avoid so much grass when it's flowing like that. I just don't cast all the way out to the middle of the channel. Stay a little closer in, try to stay out of the, <clears throat> out of the stronger current because that's where it's really moving at. You're gonna catch a lot of grass right there. So a little shorter of a cast on that. Right here. There we go. Got him. Yeah. I caught a fish in the rain. <laughs> oh! Whoo! That was a gar biting through 20 pound fluorocarbon, is what that was. Yeah. He bit through it. A little big old splash too. Yeah. What size do you think that was? I don't know, but at least 10 pounds. 10 pound gar? Yeah, at least. All right, I'm baiting my uh, steel leader line back up, and we're going to stick out for uh, just a little bit because the weather has relaxed. We're having a conversation about women. My friend Craig is asking me for advice on where to meet a good woman, and I prefer conservative women. And apparently you can't meet too many single conservative women down here. I know they're here, but they're hard to meet. So I just said that I've met quite a few good women when I'm fishing. And I'm wondering, have y'all ever met a good woman while you were fishing? They're out there.
Yeah, my tip just bounced. It's more like a little pluck pluck. That might be a crab. So back to women. Have you ever met women that were fishing by themselves? No. No? We did the other night, right? Yeah. There were two of them, though. Yeah. Do you think they were lesbians? Oh, it could have been. Oh, they were just young <laughs> college girls fishing. <laughs> Obviously, I'm in the bathroom. This is the bathroom here at the pier and back of the toilet, the tank on the toilet is leaking water. Look. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to do my business and get out of here pissing in the pool. And you need shrimp boots to pee in here. All right, there you go. Another one fish video. Hopefully it was kind of fun. I needed a uh, shrimp boots to pee and whatever but my shoes were already wet at least there weren't any floaters in the bathroom swimming pool i got got out of there fairly clean unscathed and a little lighter so the closer we've gotten to sunrise the more it got buggy when we first got here it wasn't buggy at all and now all these bugs have come out and the fishing didn't change the tide picked up. Current actually got stronger. It was moving three ounces and four ounces. We were pulling in a lot more grass. As you did see a little bit, I'm gonna show you a little bit of what we were dealing with, but actually more of that happened than I'm gonna show you. We, <laughs> it was just one run after another. You know, it seemed like a fish was on and taking drag and we let him take it a little bit. Then we tighten up and try to set the hook and nothing came of it so we've had enough sun's coming up there's a lot of traffic coming through here now because this is a working area there's people you know launching out to go fishing to have a fun day but there's also crabbers and other people coming in going to work or coming in from work from a night of work so we are going to take off because we've been up all night fishing and we're tired and it's about to get hot so see you next time